Wait, intersecting ground? No, it's not. Look, the ground's down there. And then you can do like little curls here, you know, just lifting weights, doing as you do, normal bro things. I'm go pinch that booty. Should be Z to take off. Whoa, God, whoa. Oh gosh, that's going really quickly. What's going on guys, my name is Wolf Praise, and welcome back to another episode of Besiege. Now, there is a big chance that things could go horribly wrong today because I just changed a whole bunch of stuff on my PC and like things are just, you know, they're kind of strange whenever you download Besiege again for the first time, so yeah, I, I apologize for that in advance. Just to get it out there, the chance of things going horribly wrong and making me terribly sad are just very high. Uh, but to start off with, we have the cardboard cart. Look at this thing, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Also, this map is called the Top of the Mountain, but I don't see anything around. Like, you would think that something would be, like, around, right? Like, you can't really see anything, except, oh... Oh, it's over there. Okay, well, that makes sense then. Before I start recording, I thought it was just some kind of, like, flying map, and we were just gonna drive off of this and destroy it, but, you know, I, I guess that's fine too. I guess we'll try to make our way over there with something, I suppose. But first, let's check this thing out. I actually have it levitating here, because whenever I try to put it on the ground, it goes farther up into the air, and you just can't put it back down, even if I move, like, with this thing here. It just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't stay there, so that's a little bit of a problem, but let's go and start this off and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't break too bad. Oop, there goes that. And also I hear something breaking. Oh gosh, yep, there's something broken over there. I wonder if we can still drive with this guy. I think it is just the arrow keys. Let's go and try to go. There we go. Okay, it doesn't actually even have wheels on the bottom anyway, so that isn't really much of a problem. But it has this giant wheel on the front that drags it along. And yeah, it just looks really cool. Look at the little guy on there. He's having a great time. I just always appreciate really quirky and weird things. And this is definitely one of them. You can even see like the little fibers of the cardboard, like the little holes and stuff in between it. It's just, it, it's really cool. I don't know. I really, I, I like this thing. But with my almighty powers of besiege, let's go and try to move this thing over to here if we can. I think we should be able to just like set it over here and no problem except there are a lot of stairs okay there's something inside we can just go check that out can we actually like go inside oh i think these people are going to try to attack us as soon as we actually like spawn in so that's going to be a little bit of a problem but let's go ahead and just see what happens Whoop. okay actually they don't seem too affected can we actually make it up this this thing has a little bit of torque on it there we go whoa oh gosh okay now we're, now we're falling down this is this is fine too we'll just spawn in a little bit closer to it even though it did kind of break the last time just don't worry about that whoa gosh okay uh yep I guess it was something to worry about. Can we still move without the wheels? It kind of seems like we can. Whoa, there we go. Okay, something's happening. And we're falling back down. Well, this this thing's pretty cool though. I really like it for some reason. But we can just move this thing in here, spawn it in, and drive around no problem, I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but yeah, this map's really cool. Look how freaking detailed it is. We can go ahead and zoom out a little bit. You guys can get a nice little picture all around it here. It's just insanely freaking cool. Look at it. It's I, I want to live here, honestly. I looked again, and the arrow keys are the only controls for this thing, so all we can really do is drive it around. But I mean, I, I think that's all we really need. I wish there was like some kind of first person camera because I would like to, you know, be this person here. I mean, look how awesome he is. You just that's someone you aspire to be, and I want to be him. I'm just saying, a little bit of crushed hopes and dreams. That's that's fine. It's usual. <laughs> well, let's go and see what else we can spawn in here to wreck these people's lives. This thing ought to do it. It's called the Killer Tank, but it doesn't have any control, so this may also end very badly because, yeah, I don't know how to move it, but we'll, we'll just figure this out as we get in here. Why can we not spawn this in... Oh, freaking free building mode? Wait, no. Wait, intersecting ground. No, it's not. Look. The ground's down there. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and move this guy right over here, and we'll start at the bottom this time and see if this thing can make it up the stairs, because that would be a really nice feat, even though I think the stairs are way too short. Uh, let me, or I mean, like, not wide enough? Yeah, it doesn't look wide enough. Dang it. Okay, we can't do that. That's fine. There we go. Something like that should be pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't break too much. Whoop. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, there's a little bit of stuff flying. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and try the arrow keys because I don't know any of the controls. And, okay, yeah, that's just how you move it. You just use the arrow keys. Not that bad. And it actually walks along pretty nicely here. It's not too slow or anything, so, yeah, it also looks really nice as well. Look at that guy. He's having a great time. But first, though, I see these weapons on the back, and, you know, I'm intrigued immediately, and I want to figure out how to move them, so let's go and just try to press all the buttons on the keyboard and just see what happens here. Whoa, oh gosh, there goes something there. Uh, one of his arms. Okay, that is G to move that up, and then I don't know what key- oh, okay. It's G to move it up, H to move it back down, I think. No, it's, uh, J, okay. G to move it up, J to move it down, good to know. Oh, so it's pretty much Y, G, H, and J are the ways to move this arm, so you can move, like, with the Y button here, and that moves it up like this, and then you can do, like, little curls here, you know, just lifting weights, doing as you do, normal bro things. It doesn't seem like there's really too many other controls. Whoop, I just, I just hit the completely wrong button. Okay. I was lost in my trance of mashing things, and I accidentally hit the Windows key, you guys know how that is sometimes. Uh, I'm pressing, like, pretty much everything, maybe on the number lock. Oh, number lock does this over here. You can move this other hand, you guys saw that it was, like, doing the pinchy thing. There we go. Nice little bit of pinching for you. I'm gonna pinch that booty. See if there's anything else over here. Oh, this arm moves like a lot more and it can move like rotate the hand and stuff there. That That's just so freaking cool. Look how awesome that is. I don't know like I, I mean it is really simple but at the same time it's freaking awesome because of the mechanisms that are used to make this thing work. It's just 
I, I don't know, I really get a kick out of it, this thing's really cool. And next up we have this beauty, this thing is called the Fast Rocket, it's by a new creator, at least like a creator that I haven't seen before, Jimbo. He has a lot of really awesome looking creations, you guys should definitely go check this out and give him a little bit of support because this thing only has like 16 subscribers I think, yeah only 16 current subscribers. This thing's basically just a rocket but he builds a lot of other awesome looking things and just like really cool like unique stuff and th that that's my favorite kind of stuff so good job creator. I just like to give that little bit of a shout out to builders whenever I can because you know obviously you guys are the reason that I'm making these videos because I couldn't build this stuff myself man. Also why can we not start this intersecting ground? No it's not, look at the freaking ground right down there, we're fine. I guess let's go ahead and set this all the way up here. I suppose maybe that's like a false ground and that's why it's like spawning me way up here. I'm not exactly sure. But the controls for this thing are just arrow keys and Z. So let's go and try that out. Hopefully we can get up into the air without it doing anything. Oh, well, okay, that didn't. <laughs> that wasn't a good start. Okay, it should be Z to take off. Whoa, God, whoa. Oh gosh, that's going really quickly. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. That is so nice. Look at it go. Oh, there it goes. It hit the wall. Okay, well, that was, that was fun. I can't even see the ground anymore. Oh, there we go. We're falling back down to it. No big deal. Okay, bye map. I missed you. So I did see there was some kind of camera down there, so let's go and try to figure that out. It should be like the one key or something, I would imagine, or maybe C. Uh, is it C? Uh, I'm going to try to figure out the camera real quick. Oh, it's just F. Okay, good. So we're going to start this thing off, press F, and then press Z. I'm going to try to do this really quickly. I'm sorry if it goes wrong, but here we go. Okay, F, Z, there we go. Yes, beautiful. Okay, now we can actually watch the rocket as it takes off here. Look how freaking just wonderful that is. It flies so straight as well. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, gosh, there goes the explosion. Okay, nice. Now I wonder if we could actually fly into the village over here because we do have those arrow key controls. Let's go and try to figure this out, maybe. And then, oh, okay, whoop, not, not that way. Whoop, here we go. Just a little bit of spin. Oh, okay, we can't see it anymore. Okay, I think we turn it this way. Nope, not that way. Okay, a little bit of, we just have to figure out which way is forward for this thing. It's a little bit hard to figure out, so just give me a break. Unless I just rotate it like this, and then whenever we take off, the down arrow should be the way to go just like that. Okay, beautiful. That was actually the up arrow. I don't know why I said down arrow, but my brain just doesn't work. You guys already knew that. Let's go and try this out now, and we should be able to fly right over. Whoa, God. Okay, we're going a little bit too quick there, and a little bit too far down. That's fine. We can, we can calculate this. Oh, God, fly back down. Nope, crap. Okay, this could be a little bit hard. That's fine. We can figure it out together. There we go. Okay, th that was closer. Come on, you beautiful machine. Just do what I want. There we go. Yes, beautiful. And yes, okay, we actually kind of hit the tower a little bit. We'll have to fly back up here. Sorry about this. We we're kind of attached to the rocket there. No big deal. Yeah, you guys can see all the damage that I did over here. Pretty much just blasted the side of the mountain and left a couple of floating statues that I just noticed right now. Uh, why, why are you floating, Mr. Statue? Uh, that, that's not cool. I want to see if maybe we could do this from this angle here. It will be like really hard, so I apologize for that. But oh, okay, I think this actually might be possible. Just like that, and then okay, not so far down. That's fine. Just a little bit, and then up, yes, and then down. Okay, that was actually really close. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry, I wasn't speaking there, but yeah, that, that kind of worked. Uh, I just need to get it just, just perfect, and then down. Okay, yep, there we go. Okay, so you wait just a second, and then you press up, and then it like it goes through the whole course there. So yeah, that's pretty much how I, how I am doing this, if you guys wanted to know. Uh, but yeah, just this fun, silly little thing to do. There goes a nice little fiery cannonball destroying a house. Okay, I rotated it just a bit to see if we can actually hit the center tower here and see if maybe this will work. Because I, honestly, I'm just having a lot of fun with this, so hopefully you guys are cool with that. I mean, I figure usually whenever I'm having fun, the video, the video usually ends up pretty well. Uh, but yeah, that just happened, even though I, you know, stumbled up on my speech, had one of those speaking typos. Uh, yeah, it looked really cool, so I have to go with it. There we go. Alright, and this guy's name is the Clockwork Steampunk Mech. This thing is insanely cool because it is vanilla. It's 100% vanilla, no mods required, no cheats or anything. And it's actually a mech, so yeah, that's really cool. And you guys can actually see, as we're standing here, the clockworks on the arm, or like the clock... Uh, gears, I think they would be called. Yeah, clock gears, something like that. Uh, yeah, you guys see those are moving right over there, no problem, they're just doing their thing. To move this thing, it is A and D for the feet, so let's go and try. Oh gosh, that was A, and that's D. Okay, I think we need the camera first. This is the camera back here, you can just use the one camera, and I think that is the only one. Yep, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go and try to walk now. Okay, now we can actually work, because regularly, whenever you press A and D, it just moves the camera, and yeah, obviously that is not ideal, but okay, we're kind of walking here, that was... I mean, he, he, he kind of did a thing. Apparently, this guy can actually punch as well, so let's go and try that. That is Q and E, so this is Q. Oh, oh, he, he's doing like a little dab. Look at him. Dab on the haters. Dab on the haters. Double dab. There we go. Link in bio. Link in bio. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. It, it went from being a really cool creation to being uh, something that I'm a little bit more questionable about now. Because, I mean... Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's, he's dabbing. But you know what? I can actually appreciate it. So I, th I think we're just going to end with a nice little dabbing robot. So if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the back because we're pretty dang cool around here. If you guys ask me, also don't forget to dab on the haters. Just real hard, like dab, dab, 
double dab there we go yeah freaking just double dab on the haters all day every day and of course you can't forget the link in bio also make sure you share the video as well because i really do appreciate that i mean while you're down there leaving a like it only takes like five seconds to hit the share button too and it helps me out like tremendously and i really do appreciate it so thank you guys for all of that of course the only reason i keep saying it is because i noticed whenever i say it, it actually happens so yeah i mean i might as well just ask if you guys share the video and like it as well i just love you a little bit more than everyone else just so yeah i, I just want to make that clear all jokes aside thank you guys so much for watching and liking i hope you have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one take care and double dab on the haters and stay awesome of course